Welcome to Leadership Excellence for Women by Women talk show. If you are new to our talk show, uh, the Leadership Excellence for Women by Women is a 501c uh, nonprofit that is headquartered here in Dallas, Texas. Our vision is to create a global nonprofit community where current and potential leaders connect, explore, transform, and uplift each other to reach their limitless possibilities. Our mission is to establish partnership with subject matter experts and develop interactive communication environment that will bridge community and programming. The Leadership Excellence for Women uh, by Women nonprofit uh, focus mainly on the following area. Talk show featuring different issues, career coaching, business development, mentorship, and leadership coaching. We also do small business micro lending, especially for women uh, in rural area in developing countries. We are also in image consulting and coaching. And fin finally, we do humanitarian uh, uh, causes. Today, we have uh, a great pleasure to bring to you a young man that uh, uh, is living in the United States. And uh, he's a he's a base. I call him a self-making entrepreneur. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was talking with his mom, and I asked about him. And uh, his mom told me, "Well, he's been busy with uh, um, a new business. And uh, being a businesswoman myself, it really tickled my eye, uh, my ears. And I felt like, hmm, let me talk to him. And when I talked to uh, the young man." I was really uh, 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 fascinated by what he's doing, and I felt like uh, the youth need to hear about what he's doing, even parents, because I believe this is a two-way, uh, needing to hear what another child or uh, young man is doing uh, to, in order for, for them to be aware if the child is also uh, business-oriented, uh, how to be uh, uh, sensitive to that. And for the youth also to see that there is no age to get started. So today, the theme of our talk show is uh, Meet and Learn from Ismail Mega, an 11-year-old self-making entrepreneur. Without further ado, I would like to uh, for Ismail to introduce himself. Hi, Ismail. Hello. Uh, could you please introduce yourself? Tell us your name, your age, where are you from, and where do you live now? New York. And I live in New York now. Oh, we couldn't hear you. Could you restart, please? <clears throat> Sorry. My name is Ismael. I'm 11 years old. I'm from New York, and I now live in New York. Thank you. And by the way, you look very sharp today. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Few weeks ago, Ismail, your mom and I were talking on the phone, and she told me that you are now doing something new. Can you tell us what it is? What do you do? Um, I do virtual editing. Virtual editing. Well, you know, not every one of our, our viewer is uh, uh, well versed into this kind of uh, terminology. Could you explain a little bit more what does that mean? Um, what, the, what I mean by virtual editing, I mean by someone plays a game and I edit it for them because they don't know the advanced um, steps for the editing process or rendering or exporting. Okay, and uh, how did you get started? Oh, I got started. Mm -hmm. Um, like, for, I got started when I was in Africa. I couldn't really do anything because I was using a laptop, and the laptop, the a laptop is good for editing or anything. So then, when I came to New York, I got a better device to start editing with. My editing got better the way after a few um weeks or so. 
That's awesome. Uh, like I said earlier on, uh, I hope parents will be watching this. Uh, pay attention to what Ismail just said. Uh, his dad actually lives in Africa. He's an international uh, 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 in international development, and uh, he's been living with his dad in Africa. And just like he mentioned, he was bored, kind of like bored, and uh, from that he starts uh, having interest into uh, uh, virtual editing. And uh, this is one thing that I really want to tell to parents. When your child um, is sitting home and you see the child starting to uh, have interest into some activity, pay attention to it because you never know where it can lead to. This was like uh, something that Ismail started doing because he was bored. But today, like he said, uh, he's been to New York now uh, uh, for, for, for vacation and he utilized that time of vacation now to get better into that editing uh, skills and uh, uh, to have uh, uh, more uh, capabilities. We're going to get to that later on. How did you know? Uh, and then when I was talking with your mom, she told me that uh, you have a, a, a few customers and all the time since you've been with her, you keep talking about PayPal business plan. How did you get to know about all of that? Because those are uh, uh, business uh, uh, material that we use. I'm in business and those are things that I use, you know, to run my business. How come at 11 years old, you know about all about about uh, PayPal and business plan? Uh, <clears throat> well, to be honest, I've, I really just got PayPal when I was in Africa, because I, I was in, first when I was in Congo, I couldn't get a PayPal account because my phone number didn't work, so then I used my American phone number, <clears throat> and then it, it didn't work, and when I came back to New York, my PayPal started working again, so then I got more, um, more clients to edit for, and most of them pay me. But uh, who told you about PayPal? Um, I don't know. Wow. Well, that's great. And uh, uh, your mom was telling me that you kept talking about uh, uh, having employee one day and having a business plan. Where do you see yourself, uh, uh, Ismail, in five years? Um, um, I, I don't really, I mean, I'm pretty sure I would, um, well, in five years, oh, we couldn't hear you, Ismail. Would you mind to 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 restart here, please? In five years, I would want to have top grades in my class. I already do, but I want to keep that status and continue editing and playing the games I like to play. Congratulations about uh, you wanted to stay uh, focused on your studying because that's very important. Uh, so do you think like you want to keep on doing uh, what you are doing with virtual editing or how does it, it's just like to, for you, it's just like uh, spending time with it and then maybe moving to something else? Um, wait, can, you just, can you please say that again? Uh, what I was saying is, do you think like uh, you in five years you will still be doing virtual editing and even being better at it or maybe it's just like something that you are doing now and that's it maybe i mean i know it's still at it but i don't know about virtual editing maybe okay. i'll edit another type of like thing okay would you mind to show us uh, uh, some sample of your work we would love to to see it would that be all? okay? All Let right. me open my browser real quickly. Thank you. Okay. Um, share screen. <coughs> um, uh, like so, this is one of my list. These were this was one of my best edits. Okay.
this is awesome, Ismail. I have a question. Yes. Uh, how does uh, uh, what exactly do your customer give you, and then you edit it to 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 look like this? Oh, well, they give me um, they give me clips of them playing a game, mm -hmm. and I edit them to make it look better, and I also add effects to it so people like um how it looks. Okay, and where do you post uh, your work? Like, if people want to see what you are doing, where can they find your work? We can't hear you. Would you mind to restart? You're having some connection issue. I post it all the blue chip, which is the one connected to. Um. I post it on my Twitter, which has 118 followers, or my YouTube. Wow, so you have a Twitter and you have a 108 follower. You also have a YouTube? Yes. How many followers do you have on YouTube? 83. That's great. Um, there are two more examples that I want to show, so can I show them, please, or no? Yes, go ahead. We'd love to see it. Ten likes, thing. Um, my most recent one was, is, um, this one. It's a preview. And how long does it take you to, to do like, uh, editing for such a, uh, for each video? Oh, um, it can take me a week. Sometimes it can take me three days, <clears throat> sometimes five hours. But that's only for like a short preview. Okay. It's only for a short preview, and I have to focus on that because it takes a lot of space and it takes some time to do everything. Mm -hmm. So this is my most recent one. Oh, the audio is low. And that's, and that's all I have to show. Thank you so much, Ismail. This is awesome. This is awesome. So how do you find your clients? Um, I have... 
Oh, I can find them. I can find them on my Twitter, Discord, or on my editing request. Also, you set up like an editing request in case uh, somebody is interested, like a potential client is interested, they can reach out to you. Is that right? Yes. That is awesome. That's I'm very impressed. And uh, you know, to to the youth that are watching this, um, this is a typical example of uh, you know somebody um, going inside of themselves and finding a passion and uh, are working toward that passion to make it better. This is uh, uh, something that I believe, you know, parents uh, needed to see so they can know that uh, if uh, you have a child that is, uh, especially with computer, all the time uh, stick to the computer. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, to, 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 to have a free pass, but uh, uh, watch to see what he's doing on the computer. If it's something that, uh, because this is really a skill, uh, with my talk show, I do a lot of video uh, and some other aspect of my business with a nonprofit. I have to do a lot of video and a lot of editing. So that's why when I spoke with Ismail mom a couple of weeks ago and she told me that uh, uh, Ismail is doing editing, I was quite curious and I wanted to see what it is. And uh, somebody may look at this and say, well, this is just, you know, uh, kid stuff. Uh, he may look at kid stuff. But those are skills that Ismail is learning that he can transfer tomorrow into the job market. And this is amazing because he's really self-learning. Uh, I think, Ismail, you also told me that you have a, a business partner in, uh, in London. Is that right? Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about, about that and how did you find uh, this business partner? So one day I was looking. I was watching YouTube and I saw some good editors. One of those good editors was that was um that um my my business partner in London. Um, so usually what we would do together, we would either do a dual touch, which would be both edit one part of the montage, and we also would <clears throat> we'd also would make editing packs so we didn't we have not launched our editing pack yet but we're going to make one soon we're going to launch it soon wow and do you plan to sell that or is it going to be like a, a free learning platform um uh, no an editing pack is uh, like <clears throat> it's like a pack with all the presets that you use to edit with <clears throat> Okay. So, um, it's gonna have to be paid for because, um, the effects have to be, are used with um paid plugins. So, yes. yeah. That's great. Uh, we are almost toward the end of our talk show of today. Uh, the uh, theme of our today's talk show was meet and learn from Ismail Mega an 11 years old self-making entrepreneur. Ismail, what advice do you have for young people like you? Oh, we can't hear you. Would you mind to, 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 to restart again? Um, my advice would be to do what you like to do and see if it goes somewhere. Okay, and what about the parent? Because uh, you know, when I was talking with your mom a couple of weeks ago, she felt like you spent too much time in front of uh, the computer, and uh, she told me the night before she basically shut down the computer and everything. What word would you have for parents? Um, I would say, I mean, let let you could do what they want to, but like if they spend too much time doing what they like to do, look at what they're doing pay more attention and this you would think it has a chance of going somewhere just limit their time just limit their time to a bit less and see what what they're doing to see if it goes somewhere and if they like it that's great would you mind to stop sharing please so we can get back to the main screen okay okay and then uh one final uh question I know, you know, uh, with me, for instance, uh, with editing and all of that, it comes with a lot of expense. 
uh, how do you afford you know those uh, uh, expense for your business? Um, the software that I use. Mm -hmm. Are they free or you have to pay for it? It's paid. It's paid. And uh, how do you finance the payment? Oh, um, how, wait, how do I pay the payment? Mm -hmm. I pay it with my PayPal. Okay, but I'm saying like, where do you find the money to pay for it? Do you use like a, your, your allowance or, or the money that you, because I'm sure even for you to get first client, you need it first to, to spend some money. Did you use the allowance that your, your parent give you or where did you get the money? Oh, no. I said, before I used to add it on a free software and people paid for that, then I got better on my paid software. So I got more clients and they offered to pay more. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, I believe we've all been very uh, edified today with what Ismail is doing. And like he said, you know, uh, toward the parents, look what your child is doing. If he found something that he's passionate about, um, watch over it, but let the child uh, bloom into it. And if you could support, support it also. Uh, definitely, if you want to be in touch with Ismail, I will have his contact information at the top of this video and you'll be more than uh, free, uh, feel more than uh, uh, welcome to uh, contact him. And uh, Ismail, we want to thank you for your time. Uh, I truly want to encourage you with what you are doing. Like you said, uh, just do what you are passionate about and see where it goes. My prayer for you is really that uh, uh, I see a great leader in you. I see a great entrepreneur in you. And I know that uh, the sky is your limit. Don't let anything stop you. But of course, you know, just like you yourself, you have said it, uh, be attentive to what your parents are telling you. If uh, the time limit has come, uh, abide by that but at the same time you know uh keep on uh performing keep on being the best that god has created you to be i'm very proud of you and uh because the leadership excellence for women by women is also uh a non-profit that support uh to the possible that uh that we can over small uh businesses we are pleased today to uh, give you a donation for your business, to support the expense for your business. So I hope you can see it. Oh, thank you. Sure. <laughs> so I will make sure to transfer that to your PayPal. So, and uh, we know that, uh, you know, it starts with uh, something small and before you know it, it will just bloom and I used to, and now I'm we used to call your mom the mom of a future millionaire. And I know that's what you are. So you have all our blessing. We love you and we are very proud of you. Be the Thank best. You so much. Sure. Thank you so much. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> I'm going to give you, I'm going to send you my PayPal. Okay. Sure. Bye bye. Bye.